right, I look a mess. But in all fairness, I kind of feel a mess too. I have been, I haven't really done a lot of vlogs. I haven't really done a lot of anything pretty much since I got back from the US. Cause I don't know, I've been feeling real fucking bizarre lately. And it's not that I've, I've I think I have like, I might've got a little bit of a cold because of the climate differences. But I, I don't know, I've been feeling real fucking weird lately. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like tired all the time. And I'm just like, you know what, Grandma, this was bound to fucking happen because you are an old bag. And I'm just like, God damn it. Nobody prepares you for 43. But none of that is what this is about. So, like I just said, we, I was just in the United States last month. Um, basically, we're putting our house up for sale. So we had to do some cleaning, basically, to it. It was a stressful. I don't even want to talk about it. It was really stressful. So, and I'm thinking that was why, but that was like two weeks ago now, maybe three weeks ago now, and I still feel kind of red. So, I don't know, but either way. So, but it was really stressful and I don't want to talk about it, but I was happy to have gone home even for a little bit because I have been wanting to watch a couple of my 90s animes that I can't watch and that's what I want to talk to y'all, some 90s anime. I know I had this conversation fairly recently-ish before but I want to just revisit it because I don't really watch modern anime like I don't even know it was like the last modern anime I tried to watch was Blood Sea and that got somebody was like oh I tried do you know what the fuck you're watching I was like yes yeah, it's, it's kind of good it's clamp you can't really go wrong with clamp and then they were like uh it gets really violent and I don't know, for as much as I love horror games, I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I actually can't take like a lot of violence. It, it will bother me, it will disturb me and cause me to ultimately have nightmares at night. So he, the guy that I know, he's a friend of me and my husband, he was telling me like some of the stuff and, and, the, and the dude that ran the cafe, not to have a spoiler, but the dude that was running the cafe was basically the villain. And I was just like, uh-huh, I kind of knew, I had a feeling, because I was, I think I was like three or four episodes in, and I was like, I don't know, I don't trust this motherfucker, because he's a little too nice, and it's getting a little too weird, and he's like too into like watching shit and like talking to people, and it seems like he's trying to dig into somebody's psyche. I don't trust this motherfucker. Turns out I was right. He was actually the main villain, but they were like, some the guy I talked to was like, uh, what episode are you on now? Like I said, I think I was three or four in. He's like, yeah, it's, it's going to get real bad. <laughs> I was like, okay. I think I'm going to bag out of this now because it was already kind of on that, like, cusp of me having nightmares and stuff. And I was just like, okay, if it's going to get worse, I don't need it getting worse. So I just left it alone. So that, that was, like, one modern anime I watched. Then I watched, I have watched, um, I know people don't like Magical Madoka. I actually like Magical Madoka because I kind of like the idea of what if being a magical girl was a really bad, fucked up situation. So, and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Like, it's some cutesy fucking animal coming up to you like, oh, I'm so cute, ha, ha, ha. Get these magical powers and la, la, la. And then you get all fucked up on it. They sound like some shit that would actually happen. I mean, look at Sailor Moon, for example. Sailor Moon was getting fucked up left and right. She died at the end of the first season. She dies at some point at the end of the, se at, at the, end of the last season. I'm just like, what the fuck? She died in the Sailor Moon R movie because her soul is attached to that silver crystal trash. If that silver crystal trash explodes like it had a couple of times, she will fucking die. So I'm like... So you gotta trade your soul for some shit. That don't sound like a positive, uplifting experience. Yes, you helping people, but like Zoe Berg said on Futurama, Jesus helps those who help themselves. Can we not fucking help ourselves, people? Why do I have to have my soul involved so it can explode and then I die? Although Sailor Moon did come back in both cases. In fact, in all the cases. But that's fucked up. So I could see magical Madoka it was it was like no like it was started all cute and like transformation sequences well it didn't have any transformation sequences but it, it was all cutesy until we found out that little fucking cat thing was evil and it was just like uh-huh uh-huh I, 
Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh mm-hmm. huh. So, and my favorite episode of that is the one where the girl kept trying to change the future, and every fucking time she tried to change it, it made everything worse. Every time I watch that episode, I be like, "But it got worse." And then, like, the next day happened, but it got worse. So, and then at the end, she's like, fuck this. I'm going to keep doing this, but I'm going to do this on my own. And I love that episode because I ain't going to lie. There would be some shit I would do. I'd be like, okay, I tried to help. I tried to do X, Y, and Z. Nothing fucking worked. So, I'm going to do this shit on my own and fuck this. So, I, that's, like, my favorite episode of Magical Madoka. But I can see where people are, like, it's slow because it is weirdly slow. But even in its slowness, it still kind of captivated me. And I was like, oh, okay. But again, I'm a 90s anime chick. I don't really watch modern anime. I don't even really know what's out and popping. Oh, no, and I watch Way of the House Husband. But that's not like a magical girl. That's like some weird-ass comedy. I actually did like Way of the House Husband. That's on Netflix. It is stupid and hilarious. It's like vignettes, but it's, it's funny. Check that one out. But... Mostly, don't really watch modern anime. I like 90s anime. So, I wanted to watch... It started out, like, about a month and a half ago. Where I was like, fuck, you know what I could go for? Shit, I could go for watching Utena. I didn't fucking pack Utena when we moved to Germany. Like a dumbass. And I was like, god damn it! And there's no... Okay, no streaming services have Utena. But I will swing back to Utena in a minute. Wonder to watch Utena, ain't have no Utena. It was sitting in the house... In Tampa, and it was just like, well, damn. So, number two, I was like, I could go for watching Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Be- Bebop is at least on Hulu, so I got that going for me. But I didn't feel like watching Cowboy Bebop, so I was like, eh. So I was like, I could go for watching Rama. That is also Ron the Half. That's also on Netflix. Kind of wasn't into it either. So I was like, eh, God, I, it, uh, what do I want to watch? I was like, how about Neon Genesis? I could go for watching Neon Genesis. And I, I, like, I knew I didn't have my copies of Neon Genesis with me. And then I remembered, I, I, was, I was like looking on my phone to see what streaming services may have it. Because I thought like at least maybe Crunchyroll might have it. But no, they had, um, not Hulu, Netflix had it. Now... This was a while ago that Netflix had came out with Neon Genesis and completely forgot that they redubbed it. At the time that the redub had started, I remember people screaming and biting on the side of the couch, like, their dub is terrible. And that, like, the kids was mad. They was mad kids. And I was just like, okay, I'm not going to watch that because I don't want to be one of these kids biting on the side of the couch. So I'm just going to hard pass on that. Besides, I have my, my little DVDs I have, so we straight. Again, did not pack shit when I moved here. And I was like, shit, I could go for Neon Genesis. Oh, shit, Netflix has it. Let me watch it. Completely forgot that they redubbed it. It came on. I was all jamming to the zone. I was all, I was, I was here for it. Then somebody started talking. And I was like, the fuck is this? The fuck am I watching? This, this, that's not Spike Spencer. What the fuck is who? Netflix. Who the fuck told you that that was okay? Cause it wasn't okay. And my thing is, what the fuck it do? It was already, it was already dubbed. Why are you wasting time and money to redub something that was already dubbed? I don't know. It was, I, I tried. I even tried to watch the Japanese, but it, I wasn't feeling like watching the Japanese version. I wanted my 90s fucking 80 VS dub of Neon Genesis, which is the DVDs that I have of it. And I mean, I could see if Netflix had did um fucking side Neon Genesis joints, like fucking You Cannot Advance, you, you Are Not Alone, You Cannot Eat Lunch, You Can Go Fuck Off. Oh, those weird ones he had. I think I have You Cannot Advance. I think my mom bought that for me for like Christmas or something. And I was just like, the fuck is this? So, what the fuck were those? <laughs> what I think about it? Like, because I couldn't get through it. It was weird. I was like, the fuck am I watching? It was like a weird retelling of, of Neon Genesis that I didn't ask for. And I was just like, 
I, I can't watch. I think I swear to God, I think it was you cannot advance. And I was just like, and they were all like that. You were not alone. You cannot advance. You cannot fuck off. It was just like, oh my God, what are we doing? What the fuck? So, yeah. So, again, when I was home, I managed to snag my copies of Utena. I got my correct copies of Neon Genesis because fuck you, Netflix. You need to be punched out. You make me come over there and have a long ass discussion about dumb shit that you do not do. So, ugh. You got money for all manner of fuckery. All you had to do was just pay, like, back whatever to the voice actors. And I know ADV hasn't been a thing in at least maybe 20, 25 years. What the fuck is my life about? Um, but, I don't know. You could have paid some royalties to somebody that does not have redubbed that. And I, that has DC Douglas in it. And I actually like his voice acting. Kind of not my favorite Wesker. Don't tell nobody I said it. But I like him as a person and I like his voice acting. Just wasn't my favorite Wesker. Shh, don't tell nobody. Shh, keep that shit on the quiet. So, uh, but yeah, so I, I, I haven't watched Neon Genesis. But I did yesterday watch a little bit of Utena. I watched the very first episode in the last two. And I'm going to swing back and I'm going to eventually watch the entire series again. And I fucking forgot how much... One, I goddamn forgot how fucking hot Akio is. I went to Otagon 2018. There's a big fucking spider hanging on the side of this window. And y'all know my policy on spiders. I'm not going to look that way no more. But, um, yeah, I went to Otagon and lost my train of thought. I went to Otagon and... I want to say 2018, me and my husband went and we went to a panel that was a Utena panel because I was like, oh shit, it's an Utena panel. I fucking forgot about that. And they were all like, we hate Akio because he's just evil. And I'm like, fucking yeah, that was the fucking point. But it still don't make him, oh my God, Wesker levels of just, <laughs> Oh, like, I was, oh my god, oh. so yeah, yeah, I forgot about that, I forgot how much, I was like, god damn it, I forgot how hot and evil you were, why you got me so fucking hot and evil, man, oh, and his dick just went everywhere, he was fucking everybody, it was goddamn amazing, so yeah, <laughs> and yes, yes, it did get super seedy, cause, let's just, euphemistically say stuff was getting kept in the family but the man was still fucking hot and i don't care so yeah i had oh i forgot about the hotness that was a kill otori and i was like oh, i saw that in the answer like, oh. my tongue was kind of hanging out like, oh. so yeah it was it was like that but i forgot like how amazing that series was and i watched like i said i only watched the first episode in the last two episodes so I have to swing back and watch the entire thing. I don't know if I want to watch the the is the student council so the Black Rose saga. I don't I don't know if I want to watch that because that part of the series was basically to to like boil that part of the series down was basically to show how powerful Akio was. So uh, like. Even the battle songs weren't that popping. It was, it was like it was. It's probably my least favorite of the four arc series because it's the student council saga, the Black Rose saga, the Akio saga, or something like that, and the Apocalypse saga. So the best ones were the Apocalypse saga. All the stuff that happened in the Apocalypse saga, and um, actually, it probably goes. The Apocalypse saga is the best part, followed by the the um akio saga and then the student council whatever their first part was and then the black rose the black, like i said the black rose part was just like oh it, it just seemed like filler like they were trying to build up to like something great which they did but it just seemed like a lot of filler and it was just like oh and like i said even the battle songs for that weren't that popping so it was like, oh, okay, well, this is good, but can we do something better? And then they came back with that other last two series. It was like, I'm here for it, motherfuckers. 
So, yeah. Damn it. Oh, fuck. I keep looking at this spider. I don't know why I ain't bring them, them DVDs. And I ain't gonna lie to you. Them DVDs are bootleg as fuck. My, <laughs> my Utana DVDs. Because, okay, here's how I ended up with some bootleg cubbies and some shit, right? So, like... I went, this was probably about almost 10 or so years ago, maybe like, I'll say five, six to 10. I had gone to an anime con and they had Utena up on, on in the dealer's room. And I was like, oh shit, I need to own these because I need to own these. And I don't have them. Actually, I had them on VHS, but VHS was long dead by that, by that point. So I was like, shit, let me get these DVDs and stop playing. Dude told me it was a, it was three, it was they put all four on like a three box set situation, but he was like a hundred dollars per box set. I was like, I'm thinking to myself, how about you lick the inside of my entire ass for free? Cause I ain't paying that man. So I went on a quest and then I found some like bootlegs. <laughs> Granted, I got kicked kicked in the ass with the Utina bootleg, cause the um the second be to the last part of the, the Kyo Saga episodes are all out of sequence. They are all disconjointed and discombobulated. <laughs> it's just like, okay, whatever. I'll take it because I, I really don't think they were, I don't even think they were $20. <laughs> so you get what you pay for, basically. So yeah, but oh my God, I totally forgot how fucking amazing Utena was. Fuck. I ain't going to sit and watch that. Cause like the whole thing from beginning to end. Cause it was bitch. And then Akio is just so fucking hot. I mean, I know, I know, I know, I know. I have always had a thing for, you know what it is? I've always had a thing for villains, but it's a specific kind of villain. It's the kind of like the dude in Blood Sea, but I kind of sniffed him out early. That's why I was just kind of like, mm -mm. but, um, and he would be my type blonde, but whatever. So my type of villain, because they're the three main villains that did just be like having me like, oh, Jareth from um, Labyrinth, Albert fucking Wesker, and Akio Otori. And they all have something in common, and that is... They like to manipulate people. I don't know what the fuck it is about that. There should be like a huge damn red flag, but for some reason my brain is just like here for it. It is so fucked up and I don't know why my brain is like that, but it is, I don't know. But yeah, they're all, they're all characters that like played these emotional weird ass fucking mind games with yeah, with the heroin. Well, Wesker didn't really have a heroin. I guess you could say Jill, and I only really played as Jill anytime I played Resident Evil. So yeah, they they all played these weird fucking mind games. So granted, out of the three of them, kind of the weakest is actually Wesker because they have him one dimensional. It's just in my fan fiction universe for Wesker, I have him way more broad and that's kind of how I see Wesker. So, but technically on paper Wesker would be the weakest one he'd be the weakest link but fuck that he's still hot and they all could get it as far as I'm concerned Ugh. god damn it I forgot how hot Akia was I'm sitting here blushing my face is all kind of hot right now thinking about these hot ass villains and I need to get my shit together so that is all I have for right the hell now. And I'm sorry I've been kind of MIA, but like I said, I've been feeling real weird and real gross and real like, what the fuck? I'm tired all the goddamn time now. And it's like, what the fuck do? So I would try to do better. I would try to do more. I was going to do a Lolita vlog, but then I was like, I don't want to do one of them ranting, bitey ass Lolita vlogs. So I'll, do, I'll save that for like another day. But either way, until next time, 